Welcome back everyone. Within a, an hour or two we're going to be heading out for Toronto, a couple hours away by car, so that we can fly at 1 in the morning to Peru via Mexico City, flying pretty much all night and much of tomorrow, so that we can do a eye surgery and eye glasses mission trip. My wife's done about 10 of these, I've just done two. This will be my third one, if you do the math. So uh, before I, we head out, I just wanted to make a couple of videos if I have time so that I can post them over the next couple of weeks while we're away. You may have noticed I got a haircut recently. We've been talking about Fermi questions, so the question becomes, how many hairs did I have cut? One haircut, but how many hairs? Good question. So to estimate that, I cut out this sphere from a piece of uh, paper towel. It's about 10 centimeters in, in radius. If I put it on my head, I think you'll see it's not quite big enough, especially at the back there. So let's estimate that my head could be covered by a circle of paper towel with radius about 14 centimeters. I'm going to use 14 because 14 squared is about 200. So if I use pi r squared for the area of that circle, I get 3 times 200 or uh, 600 square centimeters. And if we estimate that each centimeter squared has, let's say, 50 hairs, not in the front here, don't have as many there, but over here I probably do. Depends on one's age, of course, and how balding they are. But let's say we use 50 hairs per square centimeter, so 600 centimeters squared times 50 hairs per centimeter squared gives us, what, 30,000. Can you believe I had 30,000 hairs cut? That is probably true. That's why it was so painful. I just didn't have one hair cut, I had 30,000 hairs cut. Okay, think about that, check my calculations, see you soon.